On this episode of The Brash, Sean's Unit Damn it, we're going to talk about the major news and update on Lars Sullivan and the WWE going all the way with him. Potentially, Lars Sullivan could win the Royal Rumble match next year. Huge update on the direction of the WWE, Vince McMahon's influence in Monday Night Raw. We're going to cover all those stories right here and now. Share, subscribe, and smash the bell. Refresh my YouTube channel multiple times a day so you're always in the know on all WWE. Make sure to share my videos on Facebook and Twitter. If you want to help the show further by donating or buying my merchandise, excuse me, donating or buying my merchandise, you can do so by clicking the links in the description of the video or in the comment section. All your donations will be recognized and realized with a shout out. If you want to donate, you can do so that well and uh, you, you know buy the brash Sean's Redemption merchandise because we're going to be brash and we're going to make this one last. Now, I just got to warn all my viewers and my subscribers that I am once again dealing with some kind of illness, some kind of sickness, the cold, the flu, uh, the gonorrhea, the diarrhea, I don't know. But I'm sick as hell, I'm sick as a dog, but I'm still here for you. Now, like I said, Vince McMahon, the, the direction of the WWE under Vince McMahon. This is seen on Ringside News. Both stories coming out of Ringside News by way of the Wrestling Observer. Vince McMahon has always been the man in control of what he sees uh, on WWE television. And what we see on WWE television, it hasn't always been widely known when he was a commentator. And you know what? Vince McMahon was actually not a bad commentator. I liked Vince McMahon uh, behind uh, you know the headset. And you know what? I think Vince McMahon should go back to that. Because uh, maybe Vince McMahon hasn't lost it all as it comes as it comes to calling the action, but that's you know nor here or there. <clears throat> Again, I'm sick as a dog. But Vince McMahon has been the boss, pulling the strings behind the scenes. Dave Meltzer discussed Vince McMahon's trend of changing Raw's direction at the last minute during the Wrestling Observer Radio. Now remember, we're going to cover two major stories in this video. After he seems to switch up plans for Raw even more nowadays. The reason that Raw is a disaster is because Vince changes his mind constantly, Meltzer said. He's been doing that forever, forever, Brian Alvarez stated. But it's worse now, Meltzer replied. Obviously, you know when you've got a guy that changes his mind, what good is coming up with a great story when two weeks into your story, it's going to change and then it's going to, and then it's off the reels. Vince McMahon's power to control the WWE is at a point where nobody who can actually get to McMahon's ears will say that he needs to stop messing with creative. Only time will tell if Vince will eventually step away from the creative control position of WWE. But at this point, it doesn't seem like he's showing any signs of letting go. He's got that hold. He's got that power. He's got that control. And as long as Vince McMahon is alive, I think we're going to have to just bear it. I, I think we're going to have to hang in there. Um, you know, you know. I know a lot of people say, if you don't like the show, if you don't like what it re pre presents, if you don't like what you're seeing, well, then switch the channel or don't watch television or don't watch Raw, watch SmackDown. The thing is, we as fans, I've been growing, I'm, I'm a WWE fan since I'm four years old, okay? I'm hoping at one point, my say, your say, your talk, their talk, someone's talk or somebody or something somehow will get to the WWE and things will change and things will go in a different direction. And, you know, there'll be anticipation. There'll be expectation. There'll be unpredictability. There'll be, um, you know, it, I, 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 you know, 20 writers can't get the job done. Then why back in the Attitude Era, Vince Russo and, you know, who, who, whoever Russo was working with in the Attitude Era, wh wh why could two or three people in, on creative get, get the job done back then? But 20 writers can't be successful. They can't get the job done. You know, I you know that's that just irks me. That that really steers me in the wrong direction. That really um, raises my eyebrows, viewers, about how the current state of Monday Night Raw. How could it get this bad? It's beyond me. Now, huge news on Lars Sullivan. The WWE aren't just going to push Lars Sullivan. No, they're not just going to make him look strong. They're not just going to make Lars Sullivan last long. They're going to go all the way with Lars Sullivan. And even perhaps a Royal Rumble victory coming up next year could very well happen. And I'm talking 2019. I'm talking next month, January. Seen on Ringside News. Dave Meltzer discussed WWE's projected booking on the Wrestling Observer Radio and who they will be pushing in the company next year. In fact, the issue might be that they don't have many people that they can push. However, because there's, you know, injuries and debacles and, you know, he and whatever. 
But Lars Sullivan certainly seems to be in a great position at this point in his career simply due to his size and unique look. I mean, I know what they're going to do with Lars Sullivan. <clears throat> Lars Sullivan, he's a big guy. So they're going to go all the way with him like they did with Braun Strowman. You know, you don't have to be the size of Lars Sullivan to have that kind of push. You could do that with another guy. You don't have to have the 50, you don't have to 50-50 everybody. The 50-50 comment Meltzer made reference to is WWE's um, prolifically booking uh, people to win half the time and then they lose the other half so it's equal. That seems to be WWE's formula in keeping people just where they want them. Yeah, that's so a wrestler cannot, you know, ever uh, exceed or far exceed or get bigger or, you know, more notorious than the WWE. Because the WWE, you know, no one guy is going to be bigger than the company. So that's why this stop and go push. Um, Lars Sullivan is set to get a lot of focus in the upcoming months. He could very well be a big Royal Rumble surprise for all we know. Only time will tell if the WWE straps a rocket to him and they could always book Lars Sullivan, and this is key, to win the Royal Rumble match in January. Whatever happens with Lars Sullivan, the WWE is obviously doing big things with the freak because they found another monster to push up the card. And viewers and subscribers, what is going to happen when Lars Sullivan steps foot inside a WWE ring? That's just the thing. And then you got Vince McMahon, who could very well be behind Lars Sullivan. But you know, a lot of guys that come from NXT to WWE, they get lost in the shuffle. They don't know where they're going. They don't know where their head's at. They don't know where their career's at. You know, they, they, they don't know how to book them correctly. They don't know what position to put them in. They don't know what planning. They don't know what strategy. And then, you know, you, you, know, then you end up like... <laughs> You end up like a Bray Wyatt, and then, you know, then then you end up like <clears throat> so many other guys. I don't even want to name the list of guys just pushes and girls pushes that have got lost in the shuffle because it's just damn near sickening. It's not good. It's not cool. It's not great. It's not wonderful. It's certainly not a wonderful life in the WWE right now. Let's just be honest. Let's just call a spade a spade at this point in the game. So viewers and subscribers, it's no wonder on the brash and brazen. And remember, if you want to further help out the show, like, share, comment, subscribe, buy my merchandise, or donate to the show. You can do that by visiting the links in the description or the comment section of the video. So ladies and gentlemen, that is the flow. That is the progression. That is the... And, uh... <clears throat> You know, maybe maybe the creative team has it right. Maybe the creative team does have logic. Maybe the creative team is good in what they do. But Vince McMahon keeps changing up the process. Vince McMahon is the one that keeps, you know, changing direction and, you know, changing plans at the last second, which you would think would make things unpredictable, but it's made things very unstable. More to come from the brash one where I work around the clock and I never, ever stop. More to come from Sean's View Entertainment. Keeping it brash all night long. Later. Stay tuned.